Hey everybody, I've had a lot of um, requests and comments, people wanting me to do a video on my eyelash extensions here recently. I did mention that I got them done for the first time about three weeks ago, and I actually just had them redone again. And I thought I'd put up a little video, although I'm not sure um, what the what your guys' questions are in particular. I'm not sure too, too much to say in this video, but I thought I would tell you a little bit about mine. Um, there are places that do eyelash extensions all over the place. I had so many girls in my personal life recommend me different people or different actual locations that did eyelash extensions that they loved and I, I felt like I did a lot of research before I picked a place. I ended up picking a place that was um, a bit farther away from my live from where I live. It's in Vancouver in Vancouver, BC. So if you live in Vancouver, I'm happy to give you the link of where in particular I went. But the reason I chose them was um, the fact that there are different types of eyelash extensions. There's the synthetic, which is a lot more affordable than actual mink or silk eyelashes. However, mink and silk um, feel better and look more natural and are just kind of, you know, lighter and more natural looking. And this place I went to, she actually does mink or silk for pretty much the cost of synthetic. So that kind of sold me right there. Um, and of course, she had lots of great reviews. So I was really nervous when I went and tried it out three weeks ago. I didn't want to look like I had crazy, scary fake eyelashes. Like everyone would be like, whoa, she's wearing fake eyelashes. So. I went in there and I told her I wanted the most natural looking eyelashes possible um, and she told me because I had big eyelids I could get away with a lot more than what I wanted but I, I wanted to stay you know reserved and just kind of go with the most natural looking the first time around. So I was so happy with them and then this time around I'm actually leaving to Mexico tomorrow for a wedding so I asked for a little bit more and I'll zoom in and show you. It's getting dark out so hopefully you can still see but that's what they look like. I just had them filled two days ago. I'm going to look down so that you can see them or look up so you can get a better view. It's hard for me to tell. But um, yeah, I still feel like in my opinion these aren't crazy compared to a lot of the eyelash extensions I've seen pictures of. I know you can get them super long, super curled, and super like voluminous. And I would still say it was mine's more on the natural end. Um, but yeah, basically what they do with these eyelash extensions, I know there's different kinds. Um, but the ones I got, they glue on, I believe, each individual eyelash, and you just kind of lay in the bed, um, and someone's behind you, and they put, like, this piece of, I don't know, tape or paper or something that kind of sits right underneath your eyes, so your eyelashes sit on top, and it doesn't hurt at all, and it takes about an hour or so, 45 minutes for, for the fill, and I guess she just goes through and kind of individually does it. I'm sure it would be a very tedious job if you actually did that for a living. Um, but yeah, she was awesome. And she just does each individual one. And afterwards, it's already dry. Like I said, it didn't sting or anything. So the process itself was really easy. I know a different type is that um, some places will do them in clumps. Um, so like three eyelashes per individual eyelash. But this was each individual one. And then as far as maintenance, you just can't use anything, any oil like type makeup remover product, which I didn't use anyway, so that wasn't a big deal. It um, did take a little bit of getting used to just kind of removing my face makeup without directly like pulling on the eyelashes. Um, so now that I'm used to it, it's totally fine, but in the beginning I just, I don't know, I would always want to like rub right over my eyes, which is fine. The great thing about these is that they are waterproof. Um, so you can do that, but I like to touch them. The less I touch them, the better I feel like they stay on. I also was concerned that um, I might pick at them because I was kind of a mascara picker before, like if I had clumps, and I thought these would feel like I had clumps of mascara, but it doesn't, you can't feel the bond, you can't feel where they're glued, you can't see it, um, and honestly, it doesn't feel like any extra weight on your eyelashes. It doesn't feel like when you put on, when you glue on fake eyelash strip, it doesn't feel like that at all. It just feels like my absolute natural eyelashes. So super surprised about that and really excited about that. I could see how these could become addictive because for one, I mean, you don't feel them. And for two, it makes doing your makeup in the morning so darn easy. Like I just put on BB cream like on a typical day, do my eyebrows and put on some blush and my eyelashes are already done. Like. That's just what they always look like. I don't have any mascara on or anything. They say you can use mascara, but um, you could tend to clump the the extensions, and I didn't want to mess around with that. So I just used bottom lash mascara. And yeah, um, I had them on for three weeks, and by the end of the three weeks, they were still there, but I would say about 
maybe 30% of them have fallen out. And I thought they'd fall out in a scary way and look like all patchy, but they fell out quite naturally my first time around. I've only done it, filled them this is my second time. So I don't have a ton of experience with them, but I didn't notice anything super funky with them falling out if that was your concern. So yeah, I think that's all I can think to tell you. The price, the full amount when I went in the first time was $70, which was really good, like I said, for mink eyelashes, and then the fill was only $50. Um, so yeah, as far as price-wise go, I feel like that was pretty darn competitive for eyelash extensions. Um, so yeah, if you have any more specific questions about them, let me know, but I can see how these, like I said, could become pretty addictive just because it makes life so much easier and um, my lashes are always done. I don't need to use mascara. Will I continue to fill these? Probably not, just because it's an added expense that I don't need, but for special occasions and things like that, it's definitely something I'm going to do because like for this wedding in Mexico, it's just done. I have eyelashes, I don't need eyelash extensions, and I can go swimming and it'll be totally fine. So yes, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and thank you so much for watching. Bye!